The major reason that most people will use a used part is many of them are as good as a brand new part. Um, they're also original equipment merchandise. The other big thing, obviously, is the cost of the part. Many times, the cost of the part will be less than 50% of the part brand new. Before we even give the customer the product, it goes through a, a rigorous quality control process. And a lot of times, our warranty is actually better than what the original manufacturer will give you for a warranty. We make sure that we're giving them the correct part, the right part, and a quality part. Back it up with one of the best warranties in, in the industry and stand behind our product. My father started the company, bought the property in 1980. He had the dream, of course, of someday becoming a used parts recycling center. We strictly focus on automobile and light duty truck parts. We're here to provide a customer with an engine or a transmission or a fender or headlight, a taillight, a mirror off of a car so that they can reuse it and recycle that part. We have a six month standard warranty and we also provide a one year, two year and lifetime warranty. What we really like to do is try to work in conjunction with the repair facility. So it may not be as much as you need to come to me, but you need to be aware that I can supply you with the parts with your repair facility. So it allows you to save a little bit of money on the part end, but still have it installed professionally. Our goal that we have is trying to recycle the parts and save the consumer money. We're here to recycle the good parts left off a salvage vehicle. So the number one thing in our company is to buy good salvage. And the easiest way for us to do that is to buy salvage vehicles from insurance companies. The reason we're doing that is that car is inspected by that state, it's on the road, it's running. So we know that that vehicle has to be in somewhat good condition to be on the road. We currently will attend anywhere between six and 10 auctions a week and we handpick which vehicles based upon the mileage that are on them, the condition of the vehicles, and obviously, most importantly, our, our demand for those parts by our customers. Our computer system tracks what we get calls for, what we sell stuff for, how many we have in stock, how many we should have in stock, and therefore makes recommendations based upon that of whether we should buy that car or not buy that car. We look at each car with a handheld device. It has all of the information about all the parts on that handheld device, and we basically pick out which parts are good, enter them on the handheld, and it comes out with a price for us to buy that car for. There's great publications out there teaching these guys how to remove parts off the cars. We'll send them to a lot of training courses. We have many tools that we use to figure out how to get a part off a car, to figure out if that part's good. You wouldn't think of the guys that what we call our technicians that take the cars apart as a craft or a craftsman, but they really are, because not every accident's the same. First thing that's gotta come out of the vehicles are all the fluids. Then our technicians are following a process of what do we wanna take off that car and reinspecting it and testing each part as they remove it. We kind of consider every employee here part of our quality control. So from the buyer to the guy that's inventorying the car, to the one that takes it apart, to the one that checks it in after that. Then once it's sold, it goes through a secondary process of quality control after that. So once it's removed, then the part is, if it's possibly can be tested again, it's washed, cleaned, prepped, and made sure it's as described before it's shipped out or sold to the customer. Normally our goal is after a car lands on our property, uh, once it's purchased, we try to have that car live in our inventory within 48 hours. So it's priced and ready to be sold. We've narrowed it down to anywhere from 50 to 100 parts that we may be entering on a vehicle. And it's all done through a handheld PDA system that works in conjunction with the computer system that says, okay, here's the possible 50 to 100 parts on the car. You go through a quality control or an inspection process of what's good, check it off in the PDA, 
drop it down and download your inventory. We're not the only company that uses this computer system. So what it's done is it's allowed us to network with up to 3,000 other salvage yards in North America. So when we don't have a part, we have access to those parts at our fingertips. We're kind of strategically located in upstate New York, very close to Albany, very close to the Canadian border. We're kind of in the middle. We process all our parts during the day. We split shift. That quality control continues at night till all the parts are ready. All the trucks are preloaded at night and my drivers are out of here no later than 7.30 in the morning, which ensures that all my customers within the hour and a half bird's eye that we deliver are having their parts first thing in the morning. We also will ship anything via common carrier, UPS, FedEx, or the United States Post Office provide that service. A gold sealed certification is just a very high standard, along with all the environmental issues that have happened over the last 10 or 15 years, especially dealing with a lot of hazardous materials. We remove them, we remove them the right way, we follow certain guidelines with stormwater, with runoff, with how do we evacuate and how do we contain all those fluids, and along proving it through the government of what we do with them after they're removed the right way. And through that certification also then works into the sales where we have a customer index. We need to run over a 95% that our customers are satisfied with our service and our products. So through that, with the hazardous part and the customer satisfaction, I believe there's a very low, maybe three or 5% of the salvage yards in North America that are certified gold seal. And we're lucky enough to be one of them. It's been a collective effort by every person that's worked here. I think every employee here has a sense of pride in what we do. We've accomplished something and we have more to accomplish in the future. Obviously, I have a love for cars, automobiles. I love what I do. I love the industry. Our customers are fantastic. And it's just great to see a smile on their face every time that we save them some money.